Happy Tuesday. We are back in the fishbowl with our Spotlight Artist of the Week. Tecumseh's Mike Servini is here. Welcome back, brother. It's been a while. Thanks, Jay. Yeah, it's been been many years, I think. It has been. A lots of work going into a brand new album. It is here. It's officially dropped. Self-titled, right? Yeah. Available on iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. Years in the making. Congrats on the new work. Thanks, Jay. Thanks. Yeah. It's got to feel good once you get that finished product that's right here. It's a thing. It's a thing. How does it, it feel to, to have that rolling around? Really good. It's, uh, you, you know, you said it, been many years in the making and uh, just a lot of the tracks. Um, to me, some of them are older, some of them are newer. So it's a it's good combination. Yeah. Uh, there's a track that you presented to us a little while ago. We'll talk about this later today called What Would You Do that I was really happy to see you included on this album too. I thought it deserved some extra attention. We'll get to that here in a few moments. Right. It's safe to say because we first talked to you, what did you say, seven years ago? Yeah, seven or eight years ago, yeah. The album dropped in 2010, I believe. Close ish, to 2011, ish, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So again, years in the making and lots has changed in your life over that course of time. A, a little bit of uh, maturation, of course, personally, musically speaking, I'm sure too. And you can hear that. It's it's a different sound on some of these tracks and a diverse sound on this album, too. You're right. Yeah, it's it's basically, it's a whole new theme, right? So the first album was, you know, loss of uh, songs uh, about my mother. I lost my mother from cancer and also just lo- different relationship struggles, right? So now this new album is uh, more of my new family. Uh, you know, when I got married, uh, we have a, a song that I wrote uh, for my wife, Melanie, on there. And uh, about my son as well, our new uh, two and a half year old. So, yeah. Seems like it's very, as it should be, it's music after all. It's very personal to you that this is kind of, I think, Mike Servini's story in a nutshell on, on this album. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and a, a bit of a, a musical, can I use the word evolution that has come from album one to album two? Again, we mentioned a, a diverse sound, but you've got, you know, from that, we'll call it uh, adult contemporary sound, all the way to a rock feel on, on the, the lead single Forever. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And I've heard that before, too. It is like a, it's a musical evolution, I guess. So, mm-hmm. you know, and I guess when you write songs, you want to tell a story. But this definitely tells the story uh, personally for me. Yeah, it, it is a very personal story. You mentioned your wife already. This is the story. This is your love story, essentially. It, this it, is Mike and is. Mel in a song. <laughs> it is. It is. So, well, forever. Yeah. And and I have another track on there, too. Uh, but yeah, definitely forever is exactly the story of uh, I was trying to say how we met um, in Serbia and uh, and how you know we felt and how I felt and yeah yeah you mentioned Serbia there is an international flair and flavor to this album as well you, you did some work in Germany so tell us about that yeah so my dad's cousin uh, Vlasto he came for the first time to visit me and my family uh, in Canada and uh, he's a musician he's a guitar player and uh, he just kind of showed me some song ideas he has four chords and uh yeah, I just, we kind of connected with it and I f- kind of just wrote a melody right on the spot and it kind of stuck to us. A few months later, I decided to visit him. So we kind of planned that and uh, he booked studio time somewhere of some some place that he knew a studio. And uh, so we had that planned. I went there. I didn't have any of the verses done or anything. So we kind of, I wrote it there with the terrible migraine I remember and uh, <laughs> it, it, it was a challenge but you know we had to use the time that we had so um, I'm proud of how it turned out um, and then what what happened was we took that um, song in the project and brought it back here in Windsor and uh, finalized it here. Now yeah. correct me if I'm wrong was it the same song where you've got the video that kind of shows you behind the scenes recording some of that? Yeah so yeah. it was in Germany and here yeah we filmed a little bit of both yeah. And we've got some of that footage on our website guys you can check it out at cksfm.com mikeservinimusic.com as well the links on our Facebook page the new album available now on iTunes Spotify all that good stuff you mentioned a track for your son on Liam, who's now two and a half, you told me. Yeah. It's called Everything's For You, and, and I think this one sums up dad life, right? Th- we mentioned things have changed for you over the years, and nothing will change you like becoming a father. You're right, and uh, I didn't know, I knew I wanted to write something for him when he was born, and it's like, what do you what do? You do? do you want to do like a kid, like, ha- like it's just not my yes. style, I think. Mine's more dramatic, but I just kind of let it be and just was playing around with some chords, and it's, it is what it is. It's more of a rock feel, and uh, but the lyrics tell it all, and uh, it's definitely for him, and he loves singing it. 
he sings it, it and I have some videos uh, online about it but uh, it's it's adorable but uh, yeah it's definitely something um, th- that I thought was catchy and it just kind of happened I love the the cameo he makes in the beginning as well oh, that, yeah. that you left that giggle I mean that that just boom it, it hits you right, right from the so get-go. yeah the producer at the studio I go to SLR Studios in Windsor he we kind of thought of that idea and I'm I'm thinking let's let's do it let's put him in the intro laughing a little bit and he was like super small I don't know how maybe two couple months old and uh and then we had him on the outro as well we've told everyone that it's available now online how else can they find that new album from you mike uh well it, spotify obviously mm-hmm. apple um music and itunes and on my website uh, mike servini music.com and uh, you can even order a cd from me uh, at bandcamp.com as well so mike servini.bandcamp.com cds are still a thing kids trust us they are help support <laughs> our local artists mike from tecumseh we appreciate you spending time here with us and love having new music to throw to the masses thanks for having me it's forever the lead single mike servini on 99.1 fm ckxs your music variety